Assalamu alaikum. So today we are going to have a lecture on pricing products. Uh, we should, it will cover actually two chapters here. Uh, pricing as a tool to capture customer value. And also we, we, we are going to touch on the approaches. That, uh, there is a price, uh, pricing strategies and that basically or uh, applied by many companies and then the second one is chapter uh, chapter 11 which will talk about the strategies eh? um, so <coughs> first for the first uh, first round we are going to talk about the uh, I see as a general tool to know okay Okay, first uh, we are going to look at uh, how's actually pricing take place in this environment, in today's environment. So as uh, we know that uh, pricing will be a tool in order to be used as a, what we call it, as a, um, as a, tool that will be used to to uh, to show how actually the value of company's product the companies itself if we look today uh, the pricing power of internet the value driven retailers such as Tesco Aeon or in Malaysian case uh, we know that my day uh, Asia as a cost uh, low cost uh, Low cost pricing, low, low cost strategy company. Okay, and then uh, we also uh, look at the online shopping apps like uh, Amazon, Lazada, Shopping, so many, many more there today. So, this is actually how this com company uh, try to apply to attract customers eh, in order to, to spend. Uh, to to make a decision where actually they should they should spend their money okay all right so the second part is we are going to look at the major pricing strategies all right uh, before we go to the uh, major pricing strategies one thing one thing that you we should you should understand about pricing is how actually the pricing will reflect the value of uh, uh, the value of uh, company's product uh, perceived by customers. Okay? So when you look at this diagram, you can see that how actually uh, the price will be set up at the lowest level and at the highest level. Okay? So uh, in between of this uh, low low cost and high cost. Uh, the external factors that will, uh, what we call it, will uh, influence uh, how the the uh, comp competitors company strategies towards its competitors, the marketing strategies, how actually the uh, objectives will be set up, the, ma the marketing needs, and so on. So, uh, the well, the the lowest level of pricing. Uh, this is uh, what we call as a uh, uh, price floor, eh? paling bawah price floor, which uh, the the lowest price that we can set up in order to overcome the cost of product, eh? cost of goods sold, C O G S, cost of goods sold. Eh? So when uh, if we set up the price below then the price floor, it means that there will be no profit gain. Eh? There will be no profit gain. Means that we will operate uh, below cost, right? So, in a in a normal practice, uh, a company cannot lower its product low, lower its its price uh, lower than the product product cost. Eh? It should be either equal or should be above if we want to make a profit. And then the highest level of uh, price 
that's uh, what we call as a price shilling means that the higher the price the higher the price is uh, actually it will reflect the higher the the value of uh, the company's product but then the problem is when the price is set is too high it might be it might be uh, tend to be uh, perceived as too expensive yeah, too expensive uh, by customers and as a result there will be no demand it means that it will less it will decrease it will decrease the demand towards the product because of uh, the price is too, too expensive okay so it means that the price shilling means uh, the price cannot be above the price shilling that is uh, what customers perceive uh, affordable to uh, as a, uh, an affordable price eh? cannot be above uh, this this uh, this level when we set up too high it might be uh, there will be a custom there will be customers uh, for our product but then it tend to become lesser and lesser eh? kurang so in between, when we set up the price, actually, uh, there are external factors that will influence in the price uh, set up. In terms of, we are going to look at how actually the comp competitor strategies. Uh, let's say in between uh, my uh, KFC and uh, McDonald's, they are heavily com uh, competing to each other. All right? And then uh, we will see that in terms of marketing strategy. How actually uh, the price will reflect the marketing strategy, the objectives, how much uh, sales that they are going to achieve, and so on. So this might be the things that they need to figure out in order to set up uh, the price for uh, any product. Okay, there are actually uh, in terms of major pricing strategies. Yeah, the next topic. The major, price, uh, the major pricing strategies is actually uh, uh, three types of uh, strategies that are basically being applied. Okay, the first one is customer value based pricing. So, customer value based pricing is uh, it involves how customers understand about the our product in terms of uh, what actually how, how, when they pay for something uh, what actually they will get as a return it's just like when we buy let's say for example um, a, a, a signature drink uh, of uh, Starbucks signature drinks it will cost you up to uh, might be uh, around 20 ringgit per cup right? the, 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 the largest one so does it worth enough for us to pay up to 20 ringgit in order just to get a cup of drink how actually you value uh, the price that you pay with the things that you get things here can be said as a can be reflected as a value in terms of satisfaction when you drink uh, the beverage eh? i.e starbucks daddy Okay, so this is what we call it as a customer value base. So the value is perceived by the customer. Let's say uh, another example might be uh, a car yeah, between an expensive car or the reasonable price, yeah, cost price, yeah, reasonable uh, price such as uh, uh, BLM, other BLM, BLM, and then there's compact cars. Okay. Let's say, uh, as on, for example, we we might get 10 cars, eh? 10 compact cars in order to get one Mercedes-Benz. So what's actually the, 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 the value they perceive here? Okay. That's how what we call as a customer value-based pricing. So Mercedes might want to, uh, they cannot charge at the low, at the, uh, the uh, what we call it the lower price because of lower price means that customer will perceive 
quality of value uh, of Mercedes Benz as uh, uh, low, maybe medium to low, low cost product. So uh, with, we we will see that most of uh, privileged product like Mercedes uh, imported car, luxury cars, and then we can see that there are higher higher price of uh, smartphone like a, um, iPhone, Samsung, some of uh, Samsung's uh, iPhone, uh, Samsung smartphone model. Yeah? They will charge. Uh, they will try to balance the price with the value that they try to transfer when customers buy their product. Okay. So this is what we call as a satisfaction. So customer value based pricing uh, is, uh, is an importance as the key to pricing value based. Okay, okay so uh, in, this, in this strategy, uh, price will be reflected in whatever marketing strategies that being applied in the uh, marketing programs. It means that, uh, for example, here when uh, when we look at the iPhone, you will see that how actually they try to reflect the the uh, the privileged status of iPhone as a high class, as a uh, high standard. Um, High standard, high class product, okay? high class product with the uh, advertisement uh, that they use, with the price that they set up, with the uh, materials, and with the uh, yeah, with the outstanding performance of the uh, handphone, the, the smartphone itself. Okay, so this is uh, what we call uh, all these things. The price will be reflected. In whatever strategies along the marketing mix, okay, marketing mix means that the ads, the promotion, the uh, the the product itself, right? Price, product, place, okay, and then what else? Uh, all the uh, product. Then we can see that the three categories of uh, three characteristics of product. This is uh, uh, being reflected okay? in uh, in the price. Okay. And then the price. So maybe you want to pay. You need. We need. Okay, we need to pay up to five k in order to get iPhone, uh, which has the biggest capacity. The biggest capacity might be two, three, two five, two five, two five, six, five one two megabyte. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then the second one is uh, cost-based pricing. Okay, cost-based pricing. Uh, the second uh, strategy. Uh, this uh, pricing based on the product driven, the cost. Okay? Cost will be uh, the main denominator in set up the 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 the. the the price shilling and the price flow. Okay, you can read. Uh, there are uh, there are details about pricing in this uh, uh, notes in this module. Okay. All right, then uh, the cost base, the cost base. Okay, like I said just now, cost base uh, has been applied by uh, very well by my day, by uh, Air Asia. Yes, this is a cost a value based pricing, cost base, right? cost based pricing, sorry, cost based pricing company. So we can uh, see the difference between uh, value-based pricing company and cost-based pricing, and uh, we can see that most uh, some uh, airlines, yeah? like for example, when we compare between uh, Air Asia 
in mass itself, mass, eh? in terms of the quality that they try to uh, deliver to customer. Uh, and Asia tend to be very particular, very particular about uh, the, 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 the ink costs they might need to, to uh, the, the, the ink costs uh, they might need to pay, right? So every any anything cost any cost that incurred will be reflected uh, in the uh, uh, price setting, okay? And then a customer will be uh, will be the one who who will bear the the to pay the price. So in order to to be a company uh, that has a tagline, everyone can fly. Uh, as a low cost price, low cost based uh, company, they try to minimize as minimum as they can, right? Uh, the price. So uh, customers need to understand because of uh, need to understand in terms of what we call it. Uh, we, we 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 can understand the price that we pay and the quality of the service that we get. Sometimes when we go to where we use a uh, an Asia and uh, between mass and an Asia, you can see that if we want some drinks or foods that food and drinks that we need to additionally uh, buy by ourselves, which is uh, this is not included not included in the price eh, in the ticket price. But then uh, when we uh, fly with mass, then uh, we we will be served with. Uh, some uh, orange juice is very nice, eh? and uh, some uh, snacks and so on. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, a value. Okay, between mass and Asia. Then uh, the third one is uh, price which which is uh, okay uh look at this uh this figure the difference between cost based pricing and a value based pricing so we can see that the value based pricing actually is the reverse process instead of the uh in reverse straight straight process like uh the, for the cost based pricing when we design a product okay we design a product then uh, we are going to look at the, uh, the the product cost that incurred. Everything will be counted. Okay? Everything will be considered as a cost. And then uh, we are going to set how much percent that uh, we are going to set for the profit. Uh, let's say, for example, hundred fifty percent. This is going to be the, if we prepare for we we, we sell nasi lemak. Huh? Then uh, we were going to look at okay the the, the cost uh, they incurred for uh, five kilos nasi lemak. Uh, it cost you for hundred k. It's only hundred k, hundred ringgit, yeah, hundred ringgit. Then you might I want to see that uh, you are going to sell your nasi lemak uh, above than the cost. Uh, as a return, yeah, you are going to get. Let's say for 250 ringgit uh, for 5 kg. So, 100 ringgit dah balik modal. Then, 150 adalah untung. Right? 115%. And then, after that, uh, later on, then, after we set the price, then we try to uh, convince uh, buyers about the product's value. It's where, let's say, uh, for 5 kg nasi lemak, we might want to sell for satu bungkus for 3 ringgit. So, this 3 ringgit is this already covered for everything, for the cost. So, we might want to uh, have some uh, value added. Okay? Logo ring or uh, kacang goreng or whatever. Okay? So, this is the thing that we need to convince buyers. Alright. Uh, that's a cost-based price. It's a straightforward uh, strategy. Okay? Then for the value-based pricing, uh, this is actually a reverse. What we call it as a reverse uh, reverse strategy because of 
we actually start with the uh, we, 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 we will assess what actually customers need customer wants what uh, how's actually their perceptions towards uh, the product that uh, we are going to offer them yeah. and then uh, later on then we try to set target price to match uh, customers perceived value so if they perceive value of uh, some products at the certain level then uh, we are going to determine the price based on what they perceive okay. then uh, let's um, we will set up the cost that might be incurred then the product will be delivered to customer and the value that they perceive so this is uh, the inverse process okay then the next one is the third one good value pricing uh, this is a combination of quality and good service at the fair price okay uh, yeah uh, as a customer they are expecting uh, they, they try to get uh, the the search for the lowest price but still they they uh, expecting some, something uh, with a low price they will get such a, a fair quality yeah. It's like the quality and the price they pay are the parallel. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you go to my team, uh, we are not expecting very much, but then we are going to look at uh, some products. Eh? Some my uh, uh, products offered might have a uh, certain value, eh? certain good value as other store offered. Sometimes we can see that between my team and giant. Um, have uh, uh, competed yeah, on the same same products yeah, because this is a grocery product so we can see that they have um, a mix of uh, groceries items yeah, and um, so many brands yeah, that they compete to each other so the customer value may, might uh, might be perceived uh, the others other factors okay? other factors means that it might be uh, to shop in my name might tend, uh, tend to be more comfortable or giant of a more conducive environment so this is uh, what what we can see that as a value added uh, to what customer uh, perceive all right so the other thing is uh, like EDLP, eh, everyday low pricing. Uh, this is the best, uh, the best strategy that being practiced by Walmart. Walmart, the biggest retailer in the world, which uh, they uh, involve. It involves judging at constants everyday low price with few or no temporary price discount. It means that. Uh, it is not restricted uh, to any uh, discounts promotion but then uh, they can get customers can get at the lowest price because uh, Walmart will and they, they promise eh? Walmart has promised to offer the lowest price every day because of they are uh, they, they they're able to to charge for the EDLP because of they have a very excellent uh, managing right? supply chain uh, management uh, in order to reduce the cost. It is uh, like, for example, here uh, the branded uh, t shirt like uh, Nike, uh, they, we can get at a cheaper price at Walmart compared to other uh, shopping malls because, uh, yeah, this is what we call everyday low pricing. Okay, uh, Mora, but then with the uh, same level of quality as other company. So uh, that uh, actually makes Walmart is very uh, successful right, because of this EDRP. All right.
So uh, I'm not going to show you the de detail you know, how to actually uh, how to actually the cost based pricing has been set up. So uh, for your lecture, you just disregard this this thing. Okay, it's just enough for you to understand up to uh, up to uh, what actually this uh, strategy means you know, and the characteristics of the strategy. The concept of the strategy, right? So we just omit this one. So I'm going to uh, strictly to talk about internal and external factors. Eh? How's actually? Uh, these factors can affect uh, whatever decisions uh, need to be taken when set up the price. Okay, first of all, the uh, when we can see that uh, there are many factors actually can affect uh, the, the the price set setting up. Yeah, the price setup strategy. The first thing is we can see that in terms of uh, competition, okay, we can to resolve This is the things that the organizations sh uh, should consider. How actually the price will be set up within the organization. Then who's actually can impose the price is not that very important, okay? And then uh, it might be uh, we can see that for the external factor we can uh, see that how actually the market and the demand of a particular industry. For example, um, during COVID nineteen, you can see that how uh, the market and demand for uh, oil you know, for oil house the price has has dropped up to hundred one ringgit berapa paling rendah itu the lowest price uh, that uh, one point two right uh, we uh, we never thought of it okay we never thought of uh, the price of oil can be as cheap as cheap as uh, as we have during this COVID. Right? But now we can see that now uh, after uh, this COVID-19 a bit uh, become, I think, uh, become better. Then you can see that the price for the market and demand for oil will start to increase uh, a bit yeah, gradually. Okay, uh, we will based on this uh, topic and answer topic uh, on this uh, module because it's a bit different between uh, between the slides and the uh, module that uh, we prepared. Here. Yeah. Um, the next, uh, the other external factors. Uh, yeah, the, the first one that they are uh, market and demand. Then uh, we can see that the next other line in terms of uh, the nature of the market and the nature of the market and other environmental factors. Sometimes a uh, price has been set up based on uh, the perceived value in terms of uh, how actually the companies, uh, the companies set up their positioning? Right? How actually we understood about 
the positioning let's say uh, for example here uh, Amazon has used a different uh, strategy price strategies between Kindle Fire tablet and uh, Apple iPads or Samsung Galaxy tablets this is the same thing Kindle Fiber tablet adalah is a tablet uh, introduced by Google right? and then uh, this is uh, a bit uh, the price a bit lower okay 40% less than Apple iPads you can see that Apple iPads might be very expensive not expensive why it is expensive because of uh, the positioning and strategy of uh, Apple products you know, whatever products by Apple they have such kind of uh, privilege uh, standard the high class high, high standard uh, value that being perceived by customer if we compare to Kindle Fire tablet and the uh, Galaxy tablets okay? so we also then uh, we can see that uh, Samsung tried to challenge uh, Apple's product uh, now um, lately we can see that uh, put in. Huawei eh? Huawei also try to challenge uh, Apple's but then um, still uh, the position of Apple as the uh, manufacturer of number one uh, products brand eh? in the world still can't be challenged by any other company we can see that perhaps uh, Samsung uh, might introduce a very impressive uh, product eh? now the latest one we can see that the tablet the, the 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 phone the smartphone that we can uh, uh, enlarge the screen you know, can flip open and off the, the flip we can have such as uh, from phone and then we can have such kind of tablet right but then uh, if it is too uh, innovative sometimes it and uh, too expensive it's almost five to six k i think you know, for that samsung uh, smartphones that can be changed into tablet yeah? and when it is uh, too expensive uh, customers might uh, th think about uh, affordability yeah? so maybe samsung has charged uh, higher than whatever the price for okay? to your customers uh, even though the, the product is good actually and the product is good the value but then because of too expensive then it will drag down okay? it will decrease uh, the demand as well And then the next is uh, organizational considerations. Uh, uh, some companies uh, like uh, airlines, aerospace, steel, railroad, oil companies, and they need to uh, certain certain strategies and uh, pricing strategies. They might restrict it towards. Uh, so towards any organization like uh, oil which I mean yeah, the, the price might be controlled by the uh, demand and supply in the future market uh, future market of commodity and also by the organizations like uh, OIC, OIC, OIC yeah, the yeah, other organization yang mengawal pergerakan minyak dunia alright so then the other company might want to see that the price uh, in within the organization will be controlled will be influenced by other comp by other departments like for example the price of one product might be influenced by the uh, marketing cost market marketing department or top management and they need to consider almost every single thing before they need to they want to come up with uh, this uh, single uh, selling price there are so many factors that need to be considered right? internal factors as well as an external factor okay then uh, yeah 
depends in different types of market. Let's say um, when we can see that the environmental uh, factors, the external factors, uh, some some markets might fall within how many? Uh, one, two, three. Three types of market here. Yeah. And monopolistic. Okay, monopolistic, pure competition, oligopolistic, pure monopoly. Fourth, yeah. four, four types of uh, market factors here. Yeah. So monopoly, yeah, mon monopoly, this market uh, consists of many, many buyers and secretary of the range of prices than a single market price. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, we can see that like uh, the MB, yeah, the monopoly, the, the monopoly, uh, the market, market uh, for the energy uh, industry. There is no other company that offer energy uh, to consumers in Malaysia rather than the MB Sahaja. But then, when we go to other uh, countries like uh, US, they might have multiple companies that compete to each other to, to provide energy uh, to consumers. Hmm? So, for the monopolistic, sometimes I like for like the MP. Uh, the price might be controlled by the government, okay? and if uh, there are too many demands, right? so the demand is too high uh, compared to the supplies, then uh, it tends to become the monopolistic as well because of uh, uh, when demand too high, then the supply is le lesser then they will play around the price because uh, in order to get the, the, the thing the anything uh, that are monopolistic uh, competition uh, as a customer they will they are willing to pay at any price in order to get the stuff okay? barang to product to sebo barang barang banyak eh barang sikit orang nak ramai so what, what will happen so whatever price that been set up by this uh, seller, customers have no customers uh, will have uh, no look at the, uh, no choice, eh? no choice means that we have a very limited choice to get the best one, to get the best at the best price. So uh, what can we do is we just take it or leave it, right? Then uh, the second one is oligopolistic, oligopo oligopolistic competition. The market consists of only a few large sellers. Uh, for, for example, here, Salcom, Nexus, uh, the Telco, eh? Telco, Salcom, Nexus, VG, Unify, then uh, Umobile. Okay. So these few sellers might alert that uh, the responsive towards the competitors' uh, pricing strategies and marketing. No? So uh, in Malaysia, we can uh, we know that in the telecommunication industry, it's been controlled either by Cellcom or Maxis. And we might think uh, we might see that uh, DG will tend to become the third player, the DG Unified. Okay, and they tend to try to what we call it to to challenge uh, to compete uh, with uh, Cellcom and Nexus. Okay? So perhaps uh, whatever they they uh, set up in terms of strategies might influence whatever Cellcom and Nexus try to do. Instead of uh, they might think that they uh, have that. The, the privilege as a as a kind of market player in the telco uh, communication, but then this still can be challenged by DG. DGs, uh, we can see that nowadays offering very uh, attractive uh, package, the internet package, you call them package as well. Then uh, the latest one we can see that Southcom, 
uh, with its new product, what they call as a mega, mega product. Mega, mega percent of the, the, the newest one. Where uh, if uh, we've been uh, a subscriber for uh, more than six months, then we can get uh, the free phone, eh? free phone at a certain price. Eh? Yeah? That's uh, what they offer. Then next is pure monopoly. Eh? Uh, pure monopoly. Uh, like I said just now, monopoly like uh, like the MB, eh? uh, a power company, and then satellite TV. Satellite TV. Uh, nowadays, I don't think that Astro will no longer become the only player in Malaysia providing a satellite digital uh, a tel network, eh? network, television network, because uh, nowadays uh, Astro being uh, challenged heavily uh, by uh, Netflix, uh, the, the, the other one is iFlix, and then the, news, the newest one, uh, SLTV, yeah, the digital, uh, the, the, the digital uh, TV channel, yeah? it's very cheap, we just, on, we just need uh, to pay for 25 ringgit to stream all up to 5 5k plus uh, TV channels around the world only 25 ringgit per month we can straightly watch from the smartphone and then just uh, when we want to uh, use television we just use uh, what we call it, screen mirroring uh, nowadays so Astro has been uh, cut the challenge heavily then uh, we can see also Astro has has um, implemented, has uh, introduced uh, a very attractive uh, strategy in order to win back, uh, to win back their customers. That's why it's a subscriber there. And now I can see that, uh, like my sister, you know, when uh, she stopped uh, her subscri as a subscri as a subscriber. She has been offered just to pay for 50 ringgit one life, eh? one time per life untuk semua hidup. Then uh, she will get enjoy for free, just 50 ringgit. You know that enjoy harga dia apa? Uh, three, almost 400, right? You know that to get enjoy. Uh, but then my sister gets only for 50 ringgit. Perhaps uh, by using enjoy when we want to uh, to watch another channel, then we might want to uh, pay for the extra service like Astro, uh, Astoria. Okay, the Astro they talk about Astoria, but like enjoy. Okay. And then the next, uh, the last category in terms of analyzing the price demand relation, eh? uh, the relationship between the price and be between demand and supply. How actually the demand will influence the price? When the demand is low, when the demand is very low, and then the price is very high, or the demand is very high, and there is no enough supply. So what will happen to the movement of uh, price? Eh? The price. Uh, uh, that uh, they need to offer. So here we can see that uh, this is a condition that we call as a price elasticity of demand. I think you are familiar, you are familiar with all these things that you learn in economics. Okay? So price elasticity is actually how responsive demand will be to a change in price. If demand hardly change with a small change price, there is inelastic. So elasticity means that um, they tend to look at how responsive demand will be to a change in price. 
No sigue. Oh, okay. Means that the move, uh, the smaller, the small change in price will reflect to greater change in demand. That is elasticity. Price jatuh sikit je, tapi demand akan naik. Bam, orang beli ramai. Okay. And then if in elastic, the, the, the price move uh, higher, but then it doesn't uh, affect the demand uh, at, at the value, uh, kata, aggressively. Okay. So this is in elastic. What's the uh, example here? Okay, well, I can see that, for, for example, uh, the price of oil, okay? one, let's say only 10 cents uh, movement of price, so uh, people keep on uh, the demand for the pride for the, the uh, for oil will increase drastically even though it's only one cent okay? price elasticity or uh, for the inelastic maybe we want to see some kind of program uh, product up here mm. Okay, let's say for example the jacker, you know jacker, when uh, if this is not during a uh, festival season, during a uh, normal day, if they offer uh, the price strategy maker adalah uh, they try to cut, eh, beli, beli dua dapat sepuluh. So, uh, if, even though the price uh, changing is a bit higher, but then because of uh, the season there is no such a uh, special occasion like Hari Raya, Raya Haji or whatever uh, occasion so the demand uh, reflected is very uh, they, they, uh, very slow yeah. kenaikan ke penurunan harga dengan kenaikan demand they tak match yeah, because of uh, during uh, normal season yeah. towards the price sensitivity Okay, uh, let's say for now, for example, for example uh, another example, uh, like a uh, uh, government has, uh, okay, Power PN has announced uh, for the lower the the uh, interest rates uh, to buy a car, maybe two or three percent. So they try to attract more de sorry, more demand actually because of uh, the deregulation of the price comparison here but then we can see that people tend to uh, yeah they might want to change their car to the new one but then because of uh, some restrictions some other factors external factors like uh, um, most in COVID uh, they need to save a lot it will reflect it dalam pergerakan demand eh, as the price supply Okay, the last one is uh, the condition of uh, the external factors is uh, the economy. Uh, the economic condition thereby gives substantial impact towards the price and strategy. Uh, this is very example because of, uh, this is um, can be reflected in price tires. Eh? Price tires means that the stages of price. Okay, and the first phase, second phase, third phase and so on. Uh, like uh, like uh, an example of PNG, and they need to add a lower price version of shampoo, such as uh, painting lower price, have a sense of a sense. Uh, we can see a bit cheaper than painting, right? Uh, right? 
and then only only a bit higher right, compared to painting right, for its superior performance. But this is really the same brand within this within one group, right, one uh, one company under PNG. So they have introduced uh, five styles um, towards different different brands right, in order to reflect the conditions of uh, economic condition uh, of uh, their customers. Or we can see that when they uh, PNGs, uh, PNG penetrates uh, China as the cause urban, suburban, pedalaman. So they introduce uh, such kind of uh, shampoo in packet. I think uh, you also basically uh, think uh, shampoo dalam packet. Dulu jual 20 sen saja sepikir. So they try to take over kampung who has uh, limit, uh, has a limited uh, money, okay? So at least they still can be sold yeah, for them at more affordable price. Oh, well, we can see that also uh, another example like KFC. Yeah, KFC also has introduced uh, uh, meal, yeah, a meal, a meal, a bouquet for family, and then dinner, and then snack plate, then we have for lunch. So th this uh, can be really reflected in the price tires, eh? different price tires. So the cheaper, the cheapest one, the medium level, and the highest level. Yeah? All right. So you need watch Okay. Thank you. I think that's it for this chapter. Thank you.